guys, Stacey here. Thank you so much for tuning in today. I hope you guys even remember me. I know I've been gone for like a month or so, and the reason why is because I actually got married at the beginning of March, March the 8th was my wedding day, and if you guys remember in an earlier video, I let you guys know that I was going to Las Vegas and I was going to be getting married at the Little White Wedding Chapel, and it was a really awesome time. So for the past month or so, I've been super busy trying to get a medical coding class done for school and also at the same time uh, working and doing all of my wedding planning, just getting everything together for my trip and for the wedding and, you know, my, well now he's my husband, uh, you know, his clothes and everything, just, we were just getting ready for the trip and it was just overwhelming. So today's video is something a little bit different. Uh, usually you guys know I do like fave videos and I've done haul videos in the past and I kind of want to make a video series which I'm calling my latest purchases and it's actually just all my latest purchases in like the past month or so that I've been doing and the reason why I'm kind of combining it all is because in this way I kind of get to show you guys everything that I've been buying you know uh, some things I do like some things I don't like or wouldn't buy again so I can kind of put it all into one video instead of doing like fave videos I hate these things videos and just all these different kinds of videos I can just kind of put it all into one it's a lot easier for me but one of the purchases that I made was the Milani total lash cover mascara and this has a three zone brush now I picked this up at CVS I believe and it was like in the four or five dollar range I think and it's supposed to come with this really awesome brush that they say now some bristles are like longer there you can see them some are shorter and so it's supposed to kind of get all the different lashes in your eyelashes with one brush however I have to say I really wasn't too impressed with this mascara it actually was really clumpy and just really didn't separate my lashes very nicely at all. I didn't even really notice any volume and for lengthening this was absolutely horrible. It really had good coverage. It did cover each and every lash with the brush. However, the coverage was very, very clumpy and I didn't like it at all. So I actually bought this to use uh, for when I was getting married and I just didn't like it. I, I also picked up the Mega Length Mascara, and this is from Wet n Wild. I also got this at CVS, and this was actually only like a dollar fifty, and it is probably one of the best mascaras that I've used lately. This is in black; they both are in black, of course. Um, but this is a nice waterproof formula. Now I did bring this one on the trip, and it was great. Uh, it really like lengthens your lashes. It doesn't get clumpy, and the brush is really really neat. It's a very 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 small skinny tiny brush with little tiny bristles and these bristles get each and every lash they really like lengthen your lashes instead of just like kind of clumping everything up like the Milani mascara did so this is awesome I mean for a dollar fifty it's a really really great mascara the wet n wild I got the cover all powder this is the second time I repurchased this powder I get mine in the light to medium shade and it as you notice I mean the cover and the packaging is very very much like the uh, photo ready by Revlon line but I really like this I mean it's not overly expensive I believe I pay like three dollars I'm gonna say three or four dollars uh, at CVS and it does come with a really crappy little sponge but I usually just use my brush and this is just a really 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 great powder to use I mean it's the same as my skin so you can't really see it but I really like it because it's very light it does cover really nicely it's inexpensive and the price is just right. Also, it doesn't break me out like some uh, cheap products usually do. This does not break me out. It's great. And it just 
really just looks fresh and good on your skin. So I definitely will be repurchasing that again. I really recommend if you're looking for a good pressed powder, look into Wet n Wild because even though it's cheap, they really make good quality stuff. I got the Milani Ultra Fine Liquid Eyeliner. This is in black. I also purchased this at CVS and this was also a purchase for my wedding day because I was looking for a new liquid eyeliner. I love this liquid eyeliner. I love the brush. It's great. It's like very thin so you can really create a really good line. I've actually used this today and I also use this a lot when I was in Las Vegas. Uh, the price was like five or six dollars so it is a little bit pricey for a liquid eyeliner but it's one of my favorite liquid eyeliners and it really truly is waterproof. I mean you really have to scrub to get this stuff off so if you're looking for all day wear this is awesome. So I picked up some simple exfoliating wipes. I get these quite often whenever I travel because sometimes you get in from like a really late night of being out, you know, at a club or you're out like just visiting the town or whatever when you're traveling and you just don't feel like taking off your makeup. I mean, it's three o'clock in the morning, you don't feel like washing your face. These are really awesome. They're like a little bit of a rough material, so they kind of exfoliate like your face and all the dead skin cells and all the makeup and eyeliner off of your face. But they're really awesome because they're good for sensitive skin. They're hypoallergenic, so they don't break you out. They're not gonna give you pimples and bumps and things you wanna have, you know, you just don't wanna have that on your vacation. So these are awesome. I always pick these up if I notice them on sale, I believe. I got these on sale at Walmart for like $4 for the pack of 25 so that's not bad at all. I've got a ton of makeup for my wedding, you don't even understand. Some of it was good, some of it was bad. I picked up the L'Oreal Magic Nude Liquid Powder and this is a bare skin perfecting makeup with sunscreen in it. Now the shade that I got mine in was a natural buff which actually turned out to be a little too light for my face uh, just a tiny bit. Uh, it doesn't look like it would be but it really comes on lighter than what it looks like in the package. Uh, this is a really good coverage foundation but it's very very fast absorbing. It's almost like that mousse makeup that um, some people were you know picking up like the gosh I can't remember. It was like uh, Maybelline like dream mousse this is very similar to that. It ends like when it dries, it's kind of a powdery like finish and a very matte finish. However, it just dries too fast on my skin for me. It, it really dries very quickly and it's almost like you don't even get to like get around your face to cover, you know, blemishes, spots, dark spots, whatever before it starts drying. So I wasn't a big fan of it and the price was like 10 or $12 at CVS. And I've honestly used better makeup that was cheaper. So I really don't really recommend this. However, if you're looking for a very fast finishing drying makeup, this may be for you. Uh, the L'Oreal Curve It Elastic Curl Mousse. I was going to do my own hair for my wedding. And I picked this up to use. And it was okay. Um, I tried to do my hair. It really didn't come out very well. It's not very good for straight hair because it does not really keep a curl in my hair. My hair is very hard to curl and even though this says a very strong hold, it's non-crunchy, uh, it was kind of crunchy. The price wasn't too bad. It was on sale for $3.99 at my local Kroger store so it really wasn't like a waste of money. I probably could still use this if I was like styling my hair. I picked this up. This is something I picked up online I heard about. It's the Tan Physics True Color Sunless Tanner and I picked this up on eBay. You can also get it on their website or on Amazon. It's $35 for the bottle but this is honestly one of the best self tanners that I've used. Now I haven't been using it lately but I did use it before I went to Vegas for my wedding. And this is almost like a lotion consistency. It dries very quickly. It, there's no streaking. And it just literally, you just apply like you would lotion when you get out of the shower. And it develops after like a couple of hours. So at first, you're going to be like, oh, I don't notice a difference. But two hours, three hours, like later on that night, you're going to notice a difference. And every day that you apply, you build your coverage up. It's 
really awesome um, because the Sun Goddess Sunless Tanner that I use, I am a big fan of it, don't get me wrong. However, that one, it kind of develops instantly and it's very, very dark and I don't know, it just, it seems really greasy and the smell is very horrible after you use it like a few times and you like are letting it dry. It starts to get a little overwhelming. Um, this one does have a little bit of a smell, similar, kind of like that baked biscuit smell, but it's very light and by the next day it's absolutely gone and it, it's really not as strong of a smell afterwards as the Sun Goddess. So I absolutely love this. If you're looking for a good sunless tanner, you may want to look into this line because it is really good. It is a little expensive, but it works really, really well. NYX Roll-On Shimmer. And this one is in nude, and it's very hard to see this color because the lighting is so horrible right now. But it's kind of like a nude gold uh, bronzy color, and it's the color that I'm wearing on my lids, like right over here on the inner corner. So it's a like a light gold peachy color, and I wore this on my wedding. I absolutely love 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 this and I want to get more of these so I need to look online and find you can use these for your eyes your body your face they're pretty much for everywhere and I picked this up in Nordstrom Rack for four dollars and fifty cents and it was really awesome it just has like a little roller ball and I just like kind of put it over on my eye after I put primer on and then use my brush to kind of just like pat it in and spread it around and it works really well it lasts all day long I just absolutely love this I want more of these I've got to like hoard more of these colors I absolutely love it let's go I picked up that Nivea cream um, this is very very easy to find. You can find it in any drugstore or any grocery store. It's just like an all-over cream of uh, moisturizer. You can use it on your face, your neck, your hands, your body, your feet, wherever you want to moisturize. And this is only a dollar. It's a very, very small tin. It's like a one-ounce tin, so it's very small. But I just picked it up because I want to try it out on my face. This has been something like women in my family have been using for years and years and years. And I've used it many, many times, you know, before. It moisturizes really well. It has a great scent. But it's not going to break you out. So it's a really awesome moisturizer for sensitive skin. I've been using it for years. I just wanted to kind of repurchase it, pick it up again, because I haven't used it in a while. And just kind of relive my... Nivea Obsession. So I picked this up while I was in Las Vegas and it is a coach purse. I absolutely love this. I'm not a big fan of the color red but I love this uh, red color on the purse and on the straps and I picked this up at the fashion show mall in Las Vegas because I have been really wanting a coach purse and also uh, because I got a really great deal on this. Macy's was having a three-day sale, and this purse is only $124, so that was really, really awesome. It's just a really good, like, purse for traveling, too, because it has a spot for your phone. I got, like, a little wallet thing in there, and it's just awesome because you can wear it as either a shoulder bag or a, like, a long crossbody bag or as an even longer crossbody bag. So you can wear it three different ways. Absolutely love it. How can you not love Coach? And last but not least, I'm going to hurry up and end this video because I don't want it to get too long. I've been on a legging shopping spree. I've got some like leopard print leggings at Rainbow. I got these cross leggings at Rainbow, which I wore both of these in Vegas, and I absolutely love them. I think they were like $10 each at Rainbow. And I also purchased this at Rainbow. It was actually in the clearance rack. It's just like a real simple um, kind of see-through in the back, long, uh, loose tank top to wear with like leggings, skinny jeans, whatever. I just haven't really been able to wear it yet because it's been really cool outside and while I was in Vegas I picked up two clothing souvenirs I picked up this shirt or tank top that says Las Vegas and the back is like lacy 
and also these shorts which are really super cute and short shorts for summer and they also say Las Vegas on them so that was my souvenirs from Las Vegas as well as my coach purse and I really hope you guys enjoyed this my latest purchases video these videos are typically going to be kind of long because I'm going to include a lot of purchases all at once so I really hope that you guys uh really enjoyed this video and if you'd like to see more of these please leave a comment below and also leave a comment telling me what kind of videos you would like to watch so I really hope I will see you guys in my next video thank you so much for watching have a great day and I will be back very soon to do another video I think I'm planning on doing like an advice type video because I haven't done one of those in quite some time so I'll catch you guys in the next video bye thank you for watching love you guys